Welcome to Tomorrow's World Answers, where we answer your questions straight from the Bible. Ezekiel 16 contains an anecdote which has led some to ask, should Christians wear jewelry or have piercings? Ezekiel 16, 11 to 14, is a fascinating narration comparing God to a young man who finds an abandoned infant, helpless and struggling for life. He saves her, cleaning her and taking care of all necessities. When she has grown, she is a beautiful young lady with whom he falls in love and marries. In the parable, the man refers to Christ and the girl is Israel. The story shows how Christ loved Israel and saved it from destruction, providing protection, laws, and guidance for the nation to grow into the greatest of all lands. Christ was married to Israel at Sinai and loved her, yet the nation was repeatedly unfaithful to the one who had saved it. As the story is told, the young lady is cared for and being beautified, he gives her among other things, jewelry, earrings, and a nose ring. The latter was a sign of her betrothal to Christ. In fact, she was dressed as a queen. Verse 13 reads, Thus you were adorned with gold and silver, and your clothing was of fine linen, silk, and embroidered cloth. You were exceedingly beautiful and succeeded to royalty. Is this a contradiction to Paul's instruction in 1 Timothy 2.9, where he advised women to dress modestly, not overemphasizing jewelry? Both men and women should dress in modest ways so as not to deliberately attract attention. Women were to be modest in clothing, not showing a lot of their bodies, and not to be overly decked out with jewelry. It is not, however, a ban on jewelry. Ezekiel 16 and other scriptures show that some jewelry is fine, including that which shows one's marital state, such as rings. In the Old Testament, the nose ring was often a sign of being married or betrothed. Modest earrings are fine. Extreme piercings of the tongue, cheeks, eyebrows, and other parts of the body are not for beauty, but to attract attention. Such is not modest. In many cases, they're unhealthy, prone to infection, and a Christian should avoid them. As far as piercings for men, in the biblical period, especially around the time of ancient Israel's exodus from Egypt, many men did have earrings, but these were most often a sign of slavery, showing that they were someone else's property. This slavery is what Israel was delivered from. Even today, earrings for men are not culturally modest, but rather a statement of rebellion against present social order or to draw attention to the self. This is not supported by scripture. To submit a question for the show, email us at twanswers at tomorrowsworld.org. Be sure to watch us online at twcanada.org or by searching Tomorrow's World Answers on YouTube.